haven't seen my part. My part might suck. I don't know. And it's not photosynthesis, and you ain't getting another photosynthesis out of me. <laughs> but, um, but, uh, I don't know. I, I, when I was skating, I just think about, when I was filming for this, I was thinking about Drahobo a lot, mm-hmm. and, um, and Omar and Son, actually, on a couple of the tricks I was doing. And um, uh, one of the tricks, I swear I did it only because in my head, I was like, I know I can do this trick, but I had to, like, mimic uh, Barker Burt. I had to mimic him in my head because I'd seen him do the trick a million times. And I was like, man, I, I can do this. I just got to do it just like he does it. And when I did it, I was like, dude, I just did it completely. Exactly how I remember Barker doing it. So you gained a lot of weight and wore glasses? Yeah, I had this trucker hat on, and I had these crazy glasses, <laughs> and I looked just, they put like a suit on me. It was like 75 pounds. Nah, just in my head, like, I remember too, like, I remember when I was a kid, I remember Omar Hassan doing this trick at the blockhead ramp, and I was like, oh, I want to do that trick. And filming this new video, it, it just seemed like me, Ave, and... Dylan, it seemed like we always find ourselves at like a bank spot, like a, you know, like a spot with banks where you can do transitional type tricks. So, yeah. Sick. Do you think, um, now that you've gone bald for a while, could you grow back the Sideshow Bob hair? Dude, I actually, it's, it's kind of funny, like, like, um, it wasn't bald, it was just shaved head. It wasn't like, bicked. It wasn't like Sal. Um, <laughs> But yeah, it, it, right now, it'd be funny if you could actually, if this was one of those futuristic telephones where I could see you and you could see me. Right. Um, um, I have m- m- lots of hair right now. Huh. And I have the longest beard I've ever grown. I kind of thought, fuck it, man. You know what? I ain't cutting shit. And I decided that. And I don't remember when I decided it. But I was very sober at the time. When I started, cause that's some sober shit. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Oh, I'm growing my hair out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you're sober, aren't you? <laughs> Why do sober people do weird shit? And I've been there. I, I've I've been sober. I remember my friend, my friend of mine, my friend Dash. We were looking at this, we were looking at all these pictures, and I was like, "What month was that?" He was like, "That was in August when that show happened." I was like, "Why am I wearing a jacket?" He's like, "Sober people do weird shit." <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's, it's weird. Sober people do weird shit. Join Scientology. And hey, um, I don't know if you what? want to talk about this, but I heard hey. that your girlfriend's parents are royalty. No, they, they, she's not my girlfriend. God, who, who? I don't even talk to anyone in skateboarding. <laughs> well, it's like a lady. It's so friend. weird because she's not. She's not my girl. I mean, she calls a lot, but um. <laughs> She's not my girlfriend. She's, she's, her, her, well, I mean, you know, the Congo's like, it's all French, you know? Yeah. It, so, her, gra- her her grandfather was like one of the gnarly French Congolese rulers and like, like when she was little, they, she said that, um, she came home from school one day and her mom sat her down, and, you know, watched the TV and She's watching the TV, and they were covering her grandfather's funeral. So, pretty gnarly. So, uh, if you married her, would you be Prince Dill? I don't know. I, you know, in my head, I got some, like, super cool coming to America shit. <laughs> but she hasn't even gone to visit her grandmother over there. Like, her, see, her grandmother's only seen her once. When she was born, her grandmother, like, flew to Corsica, France, and, like, anointed her with oil, and then flew right back. So, I don't know. In the length... She does. She does, and she's getting, like, a lot better. And, you know, she tries to teach me things, but so far all I know how to say is, like, je me vais petit put, and that's go away, little slut. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, spell she's, that? Trying to te- she's trying to teach me. I just thought, but, like, whatever. She's been gone for, like, a month. That's so weird. I wonder who would tell you that. That's so weird. I wonder who would I talk to. Damn. I don't talk to anyone. I'm by myself all the time. I, I've heard things. Uh, last time I seen I you, heard th- I heard I got a call from a certain team writer friend of mine uh-huh. that asked me if I was doing some fucking drug, and I was like, "You got you kidding me? Jesus Christ, no!" 
So I started doing that kind of stuff. I wouldn't even skate anymore. It would be a full-time job. <laughs> Last time I ran into you, uh, we had a conversation about uh, attempting to make babies. How's that coming along? You still you still uh, thinking about? How long ago is it? Maybe earlier in the year. Uh, um. Shit, I might have one. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't been contacted by any of the sources. Um, I don't know. You know, I'm not sure. If if it turns out that that homegirl has some set up in Africa. I mean, yeah, I'd love to make a little fucking half white trash Irish slash light skin French prince. <laughs> Be pretty incredible, man. I'll, I'd name him Kumo D. <laughs> How cool would that be? That would be pretty fucking epic. Yeah, but I don't know. My, me and the the old ex, man, we was we only talked about it a bit. But yeah, I ain't been serious about nothing like that ever since. Ever since I was really lame to someone I really loved, and yeah, so now it's like if it were to happen, it'd probably be by accident. But there's nothing wrong with that. I think most of us are here by those methods. <laughs> Only religious people like really care, like you know. Yeah. Insemination is the 